Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Mike Malone, who's the founder and CEO of Small Step. Mike has a passion for distributed systems, how to automate them, and how to make them as secure as possible. And today he joins us to share us with us a little bit about Small Step services and their vision for the future. Thanks for joining us today, Mike, and welcome to the jam. Thanks for having me, Mitchell. Excited to be here. Awesome. Glad to have you here. So just to start off, uh, for a business that hasn't worked with Small Step before, what are some of your key products and offerings? Good question. So uh, what we do at Small Step is we we help software teams uh, and IT teams secure their network communication, secure their software systems. Um, our core technology is a certificate management solution. So certificates are a sort of credential, li like a password, but very much unlike a password, that are uh, th that are amenable to sort of the scale of operation of large distributed systems. Um, but managing certificates, uh, especially in, in conjunction with modern methods and techniques like DevOps, cloud native, um, it's a challenge. They have certificates expire. They need to be, they have a life cycle that's different than the life cycle of the thing that they're securing. Um, so it, it introduces a set of new challenges uh, around operationally uh, operationalizing uh, the credential management and identity management uh, using certificates. So we have a suite of tools, uh, a platform that we call certificate manager that addresses those challenges. Absolutely nice. Seems like a really good uh, range of services there. In terms of uh, your kind of most recent improvements and innovations in your offerings, can you explain to us a bit about those? Yeah, we've been working really hard at making uh, the experience, the sort of end-to-end -end experience for our product more turnkey and just really simple. Um, one of the big problems that motivated our uh, the, the creation of the tool chain and the company is that uh, the cloud native DevOps audience that we're really built for, um, there was no certificate management tool that was addressing their needs. Um, and uh, Public key infrastructure certificates are this like baroque old technology. Uh, X509 certificates, the the credential that we're we're issuing, um, actually predates the web, right? It's like a telco standard. So this is old technology. Fundamentally, it, it's really important core infrastructure, but it's very um, it's baroque. Um, so. Uh, we've been working a lot on just being very opinionated and simplifying, like modern public key infrastructure is actually much simpler. We can profile that down to the use cases that are really relevant to the needs of our customer base. And we've been putting a lot of energy in the product to, to cater to, to you know, those scenarios. Fantastic. And you talked a little bit about it before, but in terms of um, the trends um, that your teams are focusing um, in the market right now, what are, what are they at the moment? One of the most exciting trends that we're tracking and actually have made a bunch of progress where I'd say we're in, in some ways leading is um, device attestation. Um, if you, a, a lot of people maybe haven't heard of it, but um, if you're familiar with some of what's been going on with WebAuthn or FIDO uh, using biometric or human presence checks and like a physical uh, token to log into a website as an alternative to a password, um, the simplest way to explain device attestation is it's the same core technology um, using hardware bound private keys to authenticate a thing, but for everything else, for all of the non-human things that make up a software system, whether it's your iPhone or your laptop or a microservice or virtual machine or a Kubernetes cluster. Um, so uh, there, there's some standardization work that we're really out on the leading edge of. We've already implemented the standard and um, there's some transition going uh, from some legacy protocols for uh, device identity management towards device attestation. And we're very excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. Very exciting stuff. And with the APAC market, uh, what kind of resources do you have across the APAC market? 
I'd say we don't really view the APAC market as we have customers that are in the APAC market, but we don't really view it as a separate thing, you know, uh, at our scale, uh, it, it's one world. So, um, so we, we address that market. We hire globally. Uh, we don't actually have anybody in, in APAC, uh, on payroll right now, but we do have APAC customers. And in terms of if someone wanted to get in touch with you guys, an end user or um, enterprise um, wanted to engage, what would be um, the best way? Well, we are a SaaS product-led company. So you can go to our website, you can sign up, uh, and you can try stuff out. If you prefer open source, you can go to our GitHub, you can download it, and you can try it out. Uh, so if you have an itch you want to scratch, if you know what you're looking for, um, feel free, go ahead and try it out. Um, but we also like to engage with customers on their terms. And, you know, we get a lot of people who would prefer to have a higher level sort of conversation about architecture, about what they're seeing in their organization. Um, so uh, ha happy to uh, engage that way as well. Uh, if you go to our website, you know, we have dual calls to action. You can sign up, you can schedule a conversation. Either way works for us. Fantastic. And any last parting advice you'd like to give our enterprise end users uh, at the moment? Well, um, I think, uh, you know, bias on our on my side, I suppose, but uh, I think the certificate based authentication is uh, it, it's it's really proliferating and there's potential to eliminate uh, uh, secrets, which are a notorious operational pain and security pain point. Um, so if you haven't already checked out our tool tooling, uh, do it. And uh, we're excited to hear everyone's feedback. Awesome. Look, again, thanks so much for joining us today, Mike. Um, we really look forward to hearing more from Small Step in the future. Thanks for having me.